All right, what's up? First video we showed you a smaller, slimmed down version of a house gym, because working at home, working out at home is where it's at. You're gonna do it, uh, because you don't have to drive, you don't have to deal with people, and you can do it whatever you want, it's fantastic. So uh, this is a more elaborate setup, especially if you have a bigger, if you have a garage or a big space with tall ceilings, right? So the corner piece of your gym, you need to have mats. You can go get the CrossFit or the Nike mats, or go to a feed store, buy these four by six, they're a hell of a lot cheaper. You don't have to pay for shipping. So the centerpiece needs to be your art, right? So get a projector, project it up on there, trace it, clear tape, paint it, and it's totally badass. And then the next piece you need is a squat rack. So you can go to Dick's or some of the sporting goods stores and uh, get a rack. It's going to be 900 bucks. This is 400 and like 55 bucks from Rogue. Shipping for everything I got was like 100 bucks. Uh, fantastic deal. You know, it's adjustable. These pulls are 110 inches. Cause I got a tall ceiling, but if you were in a space with limited or you move around a lot and you go from tall ceilings to low ceilings, you can buy just these pieces and uh, different heights and then adjust it how you need it. So it's super fantastic. Get the safety bars. You know, it's a high pull up, so I'm not a midget. And when you're doing pull ups on a midget bar, it sucks. And these cannonballs are awesome. Uh, then you got hang up, get some pegboard, hang up. Uh, all your safety stuff, you know, you get your bar, bumper plates are essential. Buy a couple bumper plates and then get on the, you know, Craigslist where people that don't work out buy all this crap and sell it. And then all you need is a couple bumper plates and then metal plates are smaller than the bumper uh, in height. And so you can just slap on metal to go. Get some storage. You know, you got to have speakers for your gym with some tunes and then TV, whatever. Right, kettlebells. You gotta get some rings, you know. Screw those in up to the top. You get some rings, stability ball. You gotta get a rumble roller and cross and the cross balls. You know, we got a bunch of kettlebells and these are sweet because a lot of the mobility stuff that you see, if you follow mobility wad, you can't do unless you have something to anchor it in. So a nice squat rack will uh, <clears throat> anchor that in. All right, the other money saver is this: you can go spend a lot of money on uh, whiteboard paint or. Go to Lowe's and buy this shower board. It was $20. It was a little bit longer, but uh, we cut some off. And then right on there, and then, you know, your kids can play on there. And then, of course, you know, no home gym's complete without a pimp-ass Power Wheels ride. So there you go. Home gym done right.